Hi, welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. I'm Jessica. Today we're going to be making taquito casserole. So stick around. We are a family of five living on a ranch in Texas. On our channel, we will cover a variety of topics. These are solely based on our experience and opinions, and we do not hold any degrees in childhood development or education. So today we're gonna to be making taquito casserole. It's delicious. It's simple to make. I keep the ingredients on hand because I can just throw it together. So this is everything that you're gonna need. Two cups of shredded cheese, a box of frozen taquitos, anywhere from 30 to 40 taquitos. You do not have to defrost them. They go in frozen. Um, a 15 ounce can of cream of chicken soup. I get the family size from HEB and I use about, this is 26 ounces and you only need 15 so I use about three fourths a can. Um, also need a small thing of um, diced chilies. Again, HEB brand. And then one large egg. So, I have my 9 by 13 glass pan and I just sprayed it with a little bit of canola oil so the taquitos don't stick. So basically, now that I've got my pan greased, I'm just going to lay out All my taquitos, still frozen, rock hard. Once I get a single layer, I'm just going to, in between, put another layer. Until it's all filled up. I put about these, I put about three uh, going the opposite way. So we're gonna set this aside and make the rest. With the taquitos, you can use chicken or you can use beef. It doesn't really matter. It just is the flavor of it. I still use the cream of chicken even though I am using beef today. So in our bowl, we have our cream of chicken soup. You can put more soup. It's just gonna make more liquid. You can put the whole can if you want. I just use about three-fourths of the can. On your chilies, I opened them and strained out the juice. And this is just one large egg. I'm just going to beat it a little bit. It calls for two cups of shredded cheese. I use the HEB um, Fiesta blend. I only want to put one cup of cheese into the batter. The other cup I will put on top. So we have our soup, chilies, cheese, and the one egg. So now we're just going to mix it together. So once you have it all mixed up, just to where everything's mixed in, we're going to bring our taquitos back. And we're just going to pour our mixture on the top. I just kind of spoon it on there. I try to get it in all the cracks. I don't want to just pour it because I want it to cover. It's not real liquidy until you get your, until it heats up. So once I got it all out of the pan, I'm just going to kind of smush it around. You want most of it to stay on top 
over your taquitos. And it will get ooey and gooey great in a second. And then we're going to take our second cup of cheese and just sprinkle it all over. Just so it's covered really good. If you don't like that much cheese, if you don't like that much cheese, you could just put a half a cup on top. So now it's ready for the oven. So I got it in the oven. It cooks at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes. Um, my oven does it in about 35 to 40. Just depends on your oven. Just watch it after about 30 minutes. You want the soup to be soupy and the bottom will be, it'll be bubble, the soup will be bubbling and the bottom will turn a little brown. So we'll check back here in a second whenever it comes out of the oven. I start preheating my oven at 350 um, before I ever put it together. So again, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes in my oven. Just start watching it after 30 minutes. So we'll check back in just a second when it's done. Okay, so it took about 40 minutes. It's finally come out of the oven. I'll show it to you. So the soup is all soupy, the cheese is melted, and it's browning on the edge. So I got the easy part of this meal. I didn't have to do all the fancy stuff of that. Nope, I got the beans. So we use the Brazetta vegetarian beans, vegetarian refried beans, and super easy. You open up the can, you Jump it out of all. You heat it up for a minute and a half, and it's done. Um, you can put, you can put like little onion shreds or something, little onion bits or something in there. Uh, you can put you know extra salt or um, even salsa sometimes in there and make it taste maybe a little bit better. Um, but all you really have to do, open the can, dip it in, warm it up. Um, you could make it homemade but that takes a lot of time and uh, we're ready to eat so now we're going to plate up the food and eat supper so it's all done we got it all plated uh, we just paired it with some ranch uh, refried beans and a little sour cream and if you notice the color coding yeah the color coding major we do have a video about why we color colored in a topical video on our channel. So I hope that you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment below if you try the recipe, what you think about it. And please subscribe to our channel for all topical videos on Friday and our kids crafts and recipes like this every Tuesday. Well, our mishmash of stuff on Tuesday. So until next time, happy meal planning, happy eating, and happy parenting.